do? No. What do you want to do, Big Jack? What do you want to do? When he walks to the jam, you've got to get beaten with that jam. Yeah, you've got to be first all the time. First, Big Jack. Right? You can't back away. Let's we'll see if we can get a look at Bone Crusher Smith. There you see him. He's, he's at the bottom end of the screen, and you saw the punch he get in. It was a long arm punch. I don't think it really hurt Larry. It was a heavy, heavy kind of a punch that just sort of got there. Larry has instructions now from his corner to go back to his jab and stop looking for one big punch. Well, now you have to start thinking about conditioning a little bit here. Has picked up quite a lot. Get a chip, big chip. Get a chip. Words you know, of encouragement from Larry Holmes' corner. You know what happened, Barry? When the fight gets, the fight gets older, he learns how to reserve some energy, and that's why you know fighters like Larry they take a breather here and there, which is really smart. Holmes' corner. Advising his man to go to the body before, as you heard, we told you they had signals. They were yelling Everlast, which means go downstairs. Now they're telling him to headhunt. Stay with the jab. Another right hand by Smith. It wasn't a big punch, but it was enough to get Holmes' attention again. Good shot by Holmes by uh, Smith to the ribs. And Holmes is wild with a right. such a long layoff, you need, you need a, a few fights to get, you know, get, back, get, get things back to road. Now remember the last time he fought, which has been almost a year, he went only one round against Marvis Fraser. And five rounds, two months before that. You know what I'm really afraid of, Barry, is when Barry tries to counter, because what happens, Smith is throwing right hand too. So it's like two meteors. That's exactly what Emil Griffin had said in Smith's corner. He said, when he throws a punch, you throw a punch. Smith's corner has done a pretty good job on that eye, actually. It is not much worse than it was about three rounds ago. because he's been able to hit Larry with a couple of shots. You can see Smith's confidence grow a little bit here. And he took a shot, did Holmes. He gave one to the midsection, but he took one in return. Smith's timing has punched us a lot better. I think Larry Holmes is a little bit tired, Ray. We want to remind you of some programming coming up on HBO inside the NFL. Great show it is. Every Thursday, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. Come on, listen. Come on, come on. I can keep the pressure out of work. Right hand. No, okay. Stop working the body now, please. Mm -hmm. You gotta work the body now, man. You got to work Let's the body. Let's keep the on the shoulder. It's on the shoulder. You work the body. I got it, baby. And do it your way. is clearly winning this fight so far but right now I'd have to say he's picking up where Tim Witherspoon left off and he's not being very impressive and Smith is just having a good time he was laughing in his corner had a big smile on his face when they uh, Griffin told uh, Smith that Holmes was tough you know we should point out that Larry Holmes by his own admission hates the seventh round he was knocked down by Ernie Shavers in the seventh round. He was knocked down by Ronaldo Snipes in the seventh round. He does not like this round, and he says himself that the seventh round scares him.
stop from his punches under now. Because when, when Smith comes in, he comes with his head down. And you, you'll see, Barry, when Smith goes in, his head is down, so the upcut. And that's what I mean, bringing the punches under. Would be very effective. in a brawl if he can get him in one. Smith's corner was telling him to go to the body. He hasn't done that. Here in the seventh. One, two. One, two, first hand to the left hand. but all of a sudden, he also seems to be a little bit arm weary. Well, you'll see that this movement will slow down, and Larry himself has slowed down, but Larry is really basically trying to pick his shots. Dale's right hand. And Holmes is cut over the eye. He says it was a butt, and I believe it was. It's a nasty cut over the eye, the left eye of Larry Holmes, and it was definitely a butt. I'm sure we'll get a chance to see it. Larry's mad now. He is angry. There's no question about it. So this is going to test the champion now. And he is angry. That appears to be a nasty cut there. It definitely does. It's over the eye. So what, what Larry Holmes is going to do is he'll try to go to work. It would be a tainted victory to be sure, should it end because of that. It's a bad cut. There's a lot of blood, and it's in the eye of Larry Holmes. That's he is angry. That, yeah, that's a fight that could affect the history of the heavyweight division. There's no question about it. Uh, I think you're going to see Larry Holmes try for a knockout in the next round or two. Now hold your hands I can control it, Larry. Okay. Hey, Big Jack, it ain't nothing. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? You got to get the pressure on him, Sandy. We're getting his top band. Don't let him come to you. That's a bad, bad cut. Watch that right hand come, Sean. That's a very nasty cut. Go for his right hand long. Percy Richardson, the cut man, is working furiously on that cut, as you can see. There, right there, you saw where Smith's head came up and clip Larry Holmes. And when you fight a big, strong, awkward fighter, if you don't get rid of him in a hurry, something like that can happen. It was definitely unintentional, but you hate to see it. Both men are going to go for the kill now. There's no question about it. Blood pouring from the eye of Holmes. Holmes knows he has to go get Smith. A lot of adrenaline pumping in both these men. Again, the hands collided. One thing about it, Barry, see the fact that Larry is so angry, he could lose composure, get caught. Holmes took a good left hand. Holmes knows he's got to go get him, and I doubt that Larry Holmes has been in that position before. If Smith had the experience, he would work on that with the left jab. You saw between rounds how nasty that cut is. He really does. He's taking Holmes' best. The blood up until a moment ago did not appear to be flowing into the eye. It appeared to be flowing alongside the eye. But any one punch could get it in there. It could even come off the gloves of Smith. I saw Holmes shake his head, and that would indicate that there is blood in the eye. Smith now is going to the body. It was a wicked body shot he was through. It's really bad. Very nasty. I think now because Smith has the left hook. Holmes now has to brawl with Smith. So now it is Holmes who is fighting Smith. There was a right hand. That hurt Holmes. Holmes never saw that punch coming. And another right hand. 